Now, we all have transitions in our lives. It's not just leadership transitions. I've kind of focused on leadership transitions this morning because we have some transitions that are going to go on here. And uh, we, uh, we're going to just go ahead and deal with that, I think. We actually have several things that are, that are going on. We've got some changes that are happening. How many know that Sister Cheryl has been our children's pastor for ever? Hallelujah. We, we, we've been trying to figure out how long it's been, and it's been a long time. And she's felt here as of late that God was calling her into a different area. And it seemed like, well, how are we going to, you know, what's that? You know, we've looked at all of it and this and that, and, of course, she's got to get out of the way to raise somebody else up. Amen? But Cheryl is going to be stepping into a new realm. She's going to begin, basically, she's going to become an associate pastor as far as the title would go. I think that's probably be the closest title to it. She's going to be over pastoral care, discipleship, follow-up, small groups, that type of thing. She's going to do all those things that I don't want to do. And uh, that's what an associate does. Danny, don't, Danny, shut your ears. Danny really has been doing a lot of that stuff anyway, but uh, we call him a youth pastor because, you know, anyway. Hallelujah. Uh, she, you still have to carry tables, brother. I'm sorry. She, she's not built for that. But, uh, but Cheryl is going to be moving into that area. So what we're doing is we're taking all the children's ministries. Uh, all of them are going under the heading of youth minister because they're all youth. However, his workload doesn't increase because Heather's stepping in to take the oversight of the kids' churches. Uh, she'll be doing what Cheryl has been doing as far as making sure that the lesson plans are together for the kids' churches or the curriculum. She'll be ordering the stuff. She'll be working with the people. Uh, we've really got some good leaders with, uh, with Robin Anderson at the preschool level and Tiffany Wall working in the nursery. Cheryl has very little that she has to do there. Cheryl's really oversight was mainly with the kids' churches, and Heather's just going to pick that up. She's been working Kids' Church 1 and uh, we're going to make sure all the holes, you ladies who are working in those areas, we're going to make sure all your holes are filled. But this is a transition. It's not an immediate thing. I mean, you understand what I'm saying? It, it's going to take a little while to get it all worked through and get the communication lines going and saying, okay, it's time to start telling Heather what we need. And, uh, and you all know Heather and love her. Amen? Uh, <laughs> her family has questions, but the rest of us all love her. Amen. And she's been prepared for this. Hallelujah. So we're going to pray for them in just a moment. The second transition is going to take place will be with the Versailles Church. Uh, Pastor Dean has felt for some time, and we've been discussing it, that his calling is in outreach. Dean Alford, his calling is in outreach. It's not pastoral. Uh, he doesn't feel that he's supposed to be pastoring a church as much as he is supposed to be taking people out into the community and doing outreaches, evangelism, and that type of thing. He takes care of all of our services in the park, and there's a lot of things that he does. He's actually the one who's on vacation today. So next week we're going to be praying for him, and we'll be praying for Josh and Julia because Josh and Julia are stepping in as the pastors at Versailles. They're going to be overseeing that work there. As you know, Josh has his credentials, and uh, he's Google Gobble, one of us. Hallelujah. So uh, we're going to pray for them next week and uh, believe that God's going to use them there. It is Josh's vision to go Sunday morning as soon as possible, and I agree with him. We've been doing Sunday night services down there for a while, and really Sunday nights to try to get new people to come out is a little difficult. Most people think church, they think Sunday mornings. They don't think Sunday nights. So the only people who've been coming basically is the people who come from here. Now we get a few more come when we have someone from here speaking that doesn't normally speak. Their family members come out and support them and things like that. We are going to continue doing that for a short period of time, giving people an opportunity to speak. When we go Sunday morning, we may shut that down for a little while just so that we can focus on Sunday morning and people know that a transition has happened. Does that make sense? And that doesn't mean that'll be forever. We will, we will give people an opportunity to speak and stuff, uh, but it'll just be different. We'll probably start our vision team up and just different things that we're going to be doing. But anyway, that's what we're looking at at the moment. So if you feel uh, that God is calling you to go into transition and that God would want you to be a part of the leadership team or the, 
the uh, core group that goes down to Versailles and starts working back down there, then come and talk to me or Josh and let us know because we're going to be looking for people to want to step into that and to help with that. We, uh, you know, there's a part of part of leaving and going into something new or doing something that you haven't done or being part of something like that. There's a, you know, there's a period. That's why we're telling you about it before it ever happens so that you can be prepared and know it if that's what God's called you to do. Because we're going to release you to be a blessing. Amen? Because, you know, maybe the gifts and talents that you have need to be used there instead of here. The thing is, it's not a different church. It's still our church. It's still Church on the Rock. We're following. There's different kinds of models for church planting. And I've talked about this before. There's mothering a church. When you mother something, you raise it up. It grows. It leaves the nest. It goes on. We're doing what's known as a satellite church. It's still going to be church on the rock. It's always going to be part of our church. The finances and everything come through our church and back to them. Uh, the leadership and everything, they work with our calendar, our schedule. They'll do their own things. He'll preach his own messages. He doesn't have to follow what we do just because of what we do. But there's still the connectedness. We, have, we, we maintain the apostolic oversight is basically what it boils down to. We're going to maintain the oversight that we have. So that's one of the transitions that's going to happen, and we let you know about it. We'll pray for them next week. Next week, we will also be praying for new members. We have uh, nine people that we'll be praying for next week, seven that was in uh, membership class with us uh, this time, and two who had went through earlier uh, that we didn't get a chance to pray for. So we're going to be praying for all of them. And uh, so we've got a couple of things we'll be doing next week. The last transition that we're having is uh, with Raymond, our treasurer. Hi, Raymond. Raymond's been our board member since the transition, practically. We started grooming him right off the bat, uh, you know, and he graciously accepted it. Uh, We felt like when we made the transition, it would be good if we had someone from the uh, Batesville Church come onto the board, and uh, Raymond had been on the board with the previous church, so we just transitioned him in, and now it's time to transition him out. Uh, it's always been our habit to take the treasurer's position and begin training someone else up to take that place because you can't just pick anybody and say, all right, we're going to elect this guy and he's going to be the treasurer. It takes a little more. You've got to have a little bit of skill. Hey, man, you've got to have a little bit of ability in some sort of you know, financial realms. And uh, <clears throat> we are actually going to ask Oliver. He's already agreed. Hello, Oliver. Oliver's going to... Oliver's going to step into that. He's going to be uh, fulfilling that role for us. It's going to be a slow transition. Uh, we'll, uh, we'll have to do some training. Everybody probably knows that Raymond's brain is full. Hallelujah. Raymond has taken courses in school to be a nurse, and uh, that's, that's more than, a, than a, any, anybody's brain can handle hardly. Isn't that right, Sarah? Hallelujah. <laughs> She's praying for him. Hallelujah. Isn't that right, Cheryl? Yes, okay. So all the nurses agree anyway. We, uh, we, we want to pray for them this morning. So I would like for uh, Cheryl to come up first. I'd like our board members, which would include Josh. He's a board member. Raymond, uh, Ron, why don't you all come up? Uh, Pastor Dan, Heather, we're going to pray for this first. And everybody else can stretch out your hands. And Joanna, you can come up here. Joanna's our... Uh, minister of worship i know she looks like she's our church secretary because that's where she's at but she's our minister of worship we're going to pray for cheryl that she would be able to step into her role and we'll pray for her first then we'll pray for heather and cheryl can help us pray for heather as we transfer all that and pastor dan because it's actually coming under his heading and he's the one that has to deal with heather so You guys all know, yeah, <laughs> yeah, oh yeah, I got a lot of, yeah, amens, 